We open with, yes, Jake Roberts and his wife Cheryl copulating. Seems unsuitable for network TV even in 2020, let alone 1988. Cut to a close-up of Rick Rude's crotch. Rick says, Rude is shaking his dick at the camera. He's not even saying anything. It's just going around and around and around. And they pan up to him and he's smiling. And he's gyrating his dick. Who wouldn't be? I'm like, fuck. This is a storyline built around their dick size. Jake Roberts and Damien could never beat him in a three-legged race. What he said, because it's all about whose dick is bigger. But in all the goofy pictures, there's a fig leaf over Adam's ding-dong. I won't use a lewd word here. But anyway, she's pointing out that his dick is tiny. How could you be a good promo talking about a tiny fig leaf covering that, Rick Rude's actually, dick? That's a fair point. Craig's mic is not working. And I guess Craig can hear us, but we cannot hear him. Craig, just so you know, you can wave to everybody. You are on video. Although maybe he can't even hear us right now. If the Empire were to do a group Halloween costume, what would it be? Witches. An Empire Halloween costume? We'd all be witches? <laughs> I yeah. do like the idea. Because it's just a robe and a pointy hat and a broom. We could do that. Unfortunately, poor Craig is lost right now. He's just staring at this box oh. as Tony's yelling at him about what to do. Too bad. Craig's connected, but it appears that he cannot, or he can hear us, but we can't hear him. Is that right, Craig? He's messing with knobs. In 91 years, the best meal Granny ever had and where? Brian, if yes. you say 91 one more time. I'm sorry, Granny. You're 91 in two weeks. I don't care. Okay, I apologize. Choke hold on JBL <laughs> to get punished on privates. Two and a half pounds. <laughs> Excuse me? Punished on privates? P pu punched. Okay. Two and a half count on Undertaker. You did it, Granny. You broke Vinny. Randy. Oh, yeah. God, the draft. I didn't pay too much attention to all that. Well, no one else so, did either, so. Yeah, so anyway, that's my mess for the night. All right, Granny, why shove it down? Granny, why shove it down? Okay, anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Craig's playing the okay. bongos. I'm Craig is, is violently dropping elbows and headbutting the microphone right now. If he's as stiff as I remember, that microphone's in for a long night. <laughs> You're telling me about it. Jesus. We're you watching. Guys, we're watching you, Craig punch his mic repeatedly as we say goodbye you, to you. I did hear that I defeated producer Rob. You humbled him. Of course I did. It wouldn't be the first time. I bet not. Uh, one sixty-two to ninety-six. Oh my God! <laughs> it appears I have gotten my first win of the year. Uh, the bad news is my best player suffered a terribly gruesome broken ankle and is out for the year. While I'm here, are you telling me I'm playing the guy that everybody said is is playing for me? Yes. Oh, that will be very interesting next week. Well, Brian, if you would just tell us who is helping you out with this, no one would accuse you of that anymore. Vinny, have faith in me. Brian. If you'd won five games, Vinny, you would be yeah. enjoying the league this year. No, Brian, because I'm playing with you, and it sucks. Wow. <laughs> I am gravely insulted. Well, Good. why are you even yelling at me anyway? Because I'm not the one that even wanted to do this league. I was forced I into this league. That so don't yell with. at me. That if you would tell you me who You should yell at everybody Brian, else. Brian, Brian, tell me who to yell at. I'll yell at them. Well, that's, gotta, why I want, that's why I want you to tell me. You got to yell at Antonio. He's the one that told me I had okay. to do the league this year. Thomas, don't have Brian in the league next year. Okay, fine. There you go. Wow. Great. I don't know why this is my fault. Because you won't tell us. <laughs> AW up 9.7%. 826,000 viewers for its anniversary show. Some people said that's a terrible number for AW. I would not say it's a terrible number. I know some people were expecting a million. I was not expecting a million. You've been claiming, Brian, that the Undisputed Era are baby faces for some time now. When they came out, this crowd, this mix of people there and people watching on TV and piped in noise, they were clearly booed. No, Vinny, what I've said mm -hmm. is that they're going to break up and Cole and O'Reilly will be the baby faces. I see. And Fish and Strong are going to be the heels. And I thought that Fish and Strong were going to join up with Ridge Holland. But then Rich I, Holland got hurt, so I have no idea where they're no, going now. I'm, I'm sure that was the plan. It would suck if they had to declare it vacant for the second time in Dude, like three months. I don't think this is good. He underwent surgery to repair a broken jaw. I mean, I think he's out a while. And their evidence of her being on top at NXT is Asuka in street clothes raising her hand because Asuka never lost to her, or she yes. never beat Asuka, and Asuka just left. Yes. That's how she ended up on top. 
the moment she was cleared, she said she just wanted to go back to NXT, avoided the draft. I mean, she's one of the smarter I, individuals I love, in storyline. You, you can do this. You can dodge the draft in WWE. Now. Yeah, she's a draft she's, dodger. I'm going to cover my whole body in this turtle costume. And my gimmick is I'm going to be, I'm going to crawl around the ring on all fours really slowly. But like every now and then, I'm going to fucking do a flip in my turtle costume. Have you lost your damn mind? No, but do you understand how fucking ridiculous this is? This is Dexter Loomis' whole gimmick. He's a turtle? This thing just felt like, this felt like they had a good five minute match, stretch it out over 10 minutes, and then just do it again. He came out, he asked to be in the inner circle. Jericho wants to have a steak dinner to discuss it next week. MJF accepts. I mean, we're doing the slow build here to wherever this is going. And I'm fine with that. Because the more MJF and Chris Jericho I can get, the better. And she just screams, are you naked? And she begins to scream. And then, it's something I'm 100% certain was a shoot. They decide now would be a good time to wax Tony's chest whether he wants it or not. Orange had Cody beat. Orange won. So... Because of the way that they did the finish, when they do their rematch in two weeks, I'm not totally averse to the idea of Cody beating him this time. Mm. Because the before I would have. Yes. But here, you know, he beat Cody. And they're going to do another match. And my guess is that Cody wins, because I think the Darby's going to probably be the guy that beats Cody for the TNT title. They're doing... Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara, and if you're the kind of person who believes in prayer, you should probably say a prayer for, Dude, say one for everyone involved something. in this feud. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Some programs are just cursed, all right? Big Swole versus Hikaru Shida. Yikes. He made me want to see a match that I just saw yes. that had a clean finish. Yes. So, way to go, Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston is great. John Moxley is great. I see we're thinking the exact same thing. Well, actually, I don't know that at all, because I think I, I think I dislike the bad stuff on Dynamite more than you did. The main event on Dynamite was the best thing on either show, but there was more bad stuff on Dynamite than NXT. I'm going to vote for a tie. I'm going to vote for a tie because, I mean, to me, the answer is there was no clear-cut winner. Yep. So I'm just giving it a tie. 